Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm bringing like old school YouTube vibes back. Uh, I'm doing a hair care routine. I'm gonna show you how I take care of it from dry to wet to dry. I have a lot of different steps that I take and I really like to take care of my hair, especially now that I have keratin in it. I will talk more about that in a minute. I hope you guys enjoy this video and seeing my hair care routine, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get started. So now that I have keratin in my hair, it's pretty shiny. And even if I don't wash it for like six or seven days, like today, for example, it hasn't been washed in like a week. The ends are really dry and the roots are really oily, but there's still like this luster to my hair that I wouldn't normally have at this period in time. So the first thing I'm gonna do before wash day, because it's definitely time for a wash, I'm gonna detangle my hair. This is a very important step. I always detangle from the ends and work my way upwards. Even if the tangles or the knots are at the top of your hair, working from the bottom up, make sure that you don't compound the issue and make it more difficult to remove. So I always work from the ends all the way up to the hair until it's completely smooth. When you do this before you get in the shower, you eliminate or at least reduce the risk of breakage when you detangle your hair post shower. That's why I always do this without fail. It's super important. One thing I've started to do more religiously is always use a treatment. I either use a mask or something like Olaplex. This is a take home product that you can get at a salon. You can get this at a beauty supply. This is really great because it's like, well, it's patent technology, I believe, that actually goes into the hair shaft and repairs broken and damaged bonds. So if you bleach or dye your hair or if you have really damaged hair, this is a product that's actually like scientifically proven to repair the bonds in your hair, which is like amazing. This has definitely become like the beauty blender of the hair care industry. It's a staple in all professionals uh, kit. And that's why I of course love to use it because it works really well. I leave that in my hair for 10 minutes, rinse it out, and then it's time to move on to shampoo. I feel like I have always struggled with this step it's just so hard to get like my entire scalp clean. So I try to really work on spending extra time with the shampoo and really massaging the scalp and from all angles as well. I'll go up underneath the hair from the side, from the top, and really try to get all of it onto my scalp and then pull it through the lengths of my hair. I used to only apply shampoo to the roots of my hair because I figured that is like the oily part that needs to be cleansed and I didn't want to dry out the length of my hair, which is uh, changed completely. Now I actually shampoo from root to tip and I really, really lather up the rest of my hair because I want to remove all of the buildup and hairspray and product that's been on it for the past week. When you do that, you remove all of the stuff that's dulling your hair down. So my hair has become a lot shinier since I started doing that. I'm going to really like pamper myself, take my time with my shampoo, massage it in. This is like a thing that makes me feel emotionally cleansed as well. When I wash my hair, I just feel fresher. I feel like I've really taken care of myself. So I really enjoy this process. And then of course I follow up with conditioner, nothing special. I just make sure I add a lot of it to my hair so that it's completely silky and smooth. And I just feel like with this routine, my hair is really transformed and it's become the kind of hair that is like shiny. And I never thought that I could be that person, but I'm that person now, I think, or I'm getting there. Okay. This is also not a step that I always do. I'm just brushing through the hair to detangle it, but keep in mind your hair is most fragile when it's wet. If your hair is super fragile or prone to breakage, just avoid that entirely. Okay, now I'm just unraveling my hair towel. I always use these soft towels in my hair because they're gentle and they don't cause any breakage. I'm gonna use uh, a little bit of a conditioning mask, something that can be left in the hair and won't weigh it down. This is gonna protect from the heat that I'm gonna use and add some hydration, which will help make my hair feel and look soft. So I got my keratin treatment done and it has really changed the way my hair looks and feels and it's changed the texture. It removed the curl from my hair. This treatment is not permanent, but uh, it definitely does last at least six months. For me, my hair has become much softer and much shinier, but since it doesn't have curl in it, it takes way less time to do everything. I did this for my lifestyle because I was spending so much time detangling my hair and I was experiencing so much breakage from you know, if I, sp if I skipped one day of not detangling my hair, there would be so much hair falling out, which was just stressful. And I just didn't have time to maintain um, my curly hair. That's something I've always struggled with. I just feel like one thing when I got the keratin treatment done, by the way, I'm just like 
casually running a straightener through my hair, it's really not as precise as I used to have to do it because it's already really smooth and fairly straight. So I just do this casually, section the hair and like go for it. I just think that with curly hair, it's like something I've always wanted to like represent in some way because I have curly hair and I want to make people feel confident about it but I've never really achieved like a nice relationship with my curly hair and I felt like I was kind of like letting people down by getting keratin um but at the end of the day I'm really happy with this and it makes my life so much easier um and it makes me feel good about my hair and it's growing healthier now so I feel like this is a good treatment for me but I definitely think there's like a lot of things to look into when getting keratin so i wouldn't recommend just going for it you have to make sure that your hair is healthy enough to do it because it is damaging despite the fact that it makes your hair look so much healthier it's kind of strange but i'm really happy and i'm happy to share this hair care routine with you guys i hope you enjoyed it this is my hair and i think it's only going to grow healthier and like longer and i'll just get more health on the ends of it which are still a little bit damaged but um this is this is me I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.